Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me Jello Master 98 back again with another Star Wars figure review. In today's Star Wars figure review we're going to be taking a look now at some more figures from the Vintage Collection and in these next four reviews we'll be taking a look at brand new figures from the Mandalorian TV show. Now in today's Star Wars figure review we're going to take a look at a character from the first season of the Mandalorian and we're going to take a look at a character that repairs and obviously makes Mandalorian armor look fresh and cool and the character we're going to take a look at today is this one it is the armorer from the first series of the Mandalorian so this is the armorer's appearance and the character the armorer from the first series of the Mandalorian TV show a very unique but very slick character indeed obviously with all the uh, tools that the armor has got in front to repair and make the Beskar armor look fresh and clean and an interesting character nevertheless we'll take a look at this character's figure in a few moments but first we're going to take a look at the very cool vintage collection packaging as you see this is the standard vintage collection packaging that is released with these figures. As you see, you've got the Star Wars The Mandalorian TV Show logo at the top, or the Star Wars logo and the Mandalorian logo, if you uh, prefer to say it that way. You've got an image of the character at the side, followed by the name, the Kenner logo, and the plastic bubble that protects the figure. If I turn the vintage description packaging around, you'll see other figures in the wave, the Star Wars logo, and the name, and a number of the figure as well and obviously the uh, legal stuff and advertising stuff on the back as well so very cool nevertheless give you a, uh, another look of the armour but very cool packaging as always from Hasbro so that's the packaging for the armourer. Let's take a look at this figure in more detail. As always, we're going to take a look at the articulation first and then we get into the uh, main parts of the figures. As you see, this armourer figure does come with a swivel head, like so. It can move up and down. There's obviously a joint in the neck as well. That can obviously make it stuck and obviously put in place and everything. You've got your movements in your arm, like so in your elbow and in the wrists like so oh, a little gadget that's just falling out but you know what? we'll put that down for the time being uh, there's uh, obviously movement in the torso like so I'll say there's a uh, movement in the legs in the knees and obviously we've got plenty of movement in the ankle ankles not ankle ankles as well I'll just get that accessory As you see the armour, apart from having a really cool helmet, the character does come with two appliances that is used in repairing Beskar. So you've got obviously like a, similar to like a knight's little axe or hammer that repairs it and obviously another part that can obviously do something. I'm not really entirely too sure what this is if I'm being honest, but it's obviously it's the purpose of doing something. I'll give you a zoom in just to show the overall detail of the armor as armor and the character as well. As you see, you've got a very slick and very nice gold helmet with little spikes at the top, which is very cool. Very similar to Darth Maul's uh, battalion of Mandalorians in the uh, season seven episodes of Star Wars Clone Wars. Obviously, you've got some armor at the front, you've got some really nice chest plate and a nice sort of ready red maroon plastic with a bit of gray on the side as well. Turn it around, you've got some uh, sculpted fur on the back, which is quite unique. It's quite sort of like a, a warrior's uh, trait, or obviously a warrior's um, idea in obviously showing off fur and everything. You've got some really nice sculpted gloves and everything. Nice bit of uh, plastic and material used there to obviously get a nice look and everything. Obviously the accessories are removable, you can remove that one. And obviously you can remove that one. 
and the armour is like that but obviously the armour is much better with the gadgets so yep gadgets look really cool obviously you can just move the hands in and everything bottom half of the figure nicely sculpted there obviously getting the best look and the best design out and everything of the armour obviously with screen accuracy and everything but the thing that really steals the figure for me is obviously the uh, the sculpted helmet they've done. It's a uh, like I said, it's very uh, slick and everything. And obviously the way the armor is dressed, it's very Viking as well, with obviously the sculpted fur and the gold and the little parts on the helmet and everything. Obviously, in the uh, last episode of the Mandalorian, in the first series, we see the armor fighting off stormtroopers. Whether this character did survive. And eventually going to exile and meet up with other mandalorians we're not too sure at the minute um, but nevertheless a very cool uh, scene towards the end where the armor is battering stormtroopers left right and center with obviously some of these gadgets here is, as well that is a uh, part of this character and review as well but nevertheless i can't say uh, nothing bad about the armor obviously very cool and slick figure and obviously it's very clean and uh, it's nice to uh, add a Mandalorian character to my collection. Um, fingers crossed, or you never know, we could see more of this character in the future. But um, nevertheless, I hope this uh, review has satisfied you. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this review on the Armourer. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'd just like to say um, thanks for tuning in. As ever, be sure to obviously subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll be back with many more Star Wars reviews very soon, so be sure to stay tuned for more reviews on the Mandalorian figures. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay safe, have a nice day, and may the Force be with you.